Commons. On it drops for Denier. Three and a half minutes into his Celtic debut. And the Belgian has his first goal for the club. Two Dundee United players getting touches on the ball. Morris and then Townsend. Stokes this time with the inswinger and it's Commons and it's 2-0. The PFA Scotland Player of the Year from last season gets his first goal of the new campaign. Stokes with the delivery and Commons, one of the smallest players on the park, nodding it in. Morris. Peyton, and he's been robbed by Johansson, who makes it three. Just over half an hour played, and Stefan Johansson punishes this lapse in concentration from Peyton. He was far too relaxed. The finish was so composed. This is Stokes zipped in at pace and it's gone all the way through. Charlie Mulgrew is quite clear that he got a touch on that ball. Anthony Stokes with the delivery. Mulgrew is claiming it. Stokes right footed all the way over to Ambrose. Oh, there's Burgetts! It's five for Celtic. Well, what a way for Ronnie Dyla to celebrate his first match in charge at Celtic Park. Jo Inge Berget with his first goal for the club. Forrest. There's a young man that can really excite the fans. And still going, a lovely ball too. Out for Kyle. Biram Kyle looking for Griffiths. It's gone all the way through to Berget. 6 1 Celtic. And Jo Inge Berget has his second goal for the club. Celtic rampant against Dundee United. Higginbotham. Cutting in field. Lawless. And the return to Fraser. It's an absolute rocket from Gary Fraser. He scored a fine goal on Wednesday night. Simon Ferry leaves it for Jim McAllister. McGowan, Whiten. Oh, the ball bait breaks away of Whiten, and Craig Whiten equalises. The youngster has done it, his first goal in the Scottish Premiership. It was so coolly taken. Motherwell's home record is superb. Just one defeat in the last 12. Nine of those have been victories, including the 1-0 win against St Mirren on the opening day. This is Tanzi, though. Oh, it's a great effort from Greg Tanzi. And Inverness break the deadlock three minutes before half-time. Goes Raven to challenge, but he loses out. Now Tanzi. Now Doran. Just a couple of minutes left, can Inverness finish the job? Aaron Doran working the shots and curling it beautifully into the far corner. And with it, Inverness go to the top of the Scottish Premiership. Kilmarnock will come again. Lofted towards the back post, McGuinness. Oh, it's gone in. Reguero misjudged the flight. And Josh McGuinness has his first goal for Kilmarnock. Chris Chantler with the cross, McGuinness's header. Reguero just seemed to go with the wrong hand. Mackenzie for Barber. Well marked by Carey. This is Slater, lofted in, and a free header for Obedai. And he, too, has his first goal for the club. Completely free, he could barely miss. Topi Obadai makes it 2-0 to Kilmarnock. There's still time for Ross County, but at this rate, it's going to be 
three defeats on the bounce to start the season unless Jake Jervis can do anything about it. Cardle now, good cross and Boyce has one back. There is still time for Ross County. Liam Boyce, the former Cliftonville striker, guiding that one in. It's a really good goal from Ross County's point of view. McKinnon, now to Ali Crawford. Antoine Courier has found space out on the right-hand side. Now, can he pick out a Hamilton player in the middle? He can. It's McKinnon deflected and beats Manus. And Hamilton are ahead. Just over a quarter of an hour played. Antoine Courier kept his cool to pick out Darian McKinnon.